Hey guys, today we tie a little pipe streamer with the new Monster Dub from Big Streamers. Um, we tie it on a Big Mouse 6L, always good for, tie, uh, for pipe. Put a little bit of glue on the hook to get the thread secure. Make it three, four, five wraps around it. We'll stick, now we can grab some bucktail. For the tail we take some of the top. Just look for some longer ones, cut them off, remove the under fur or the small fibers and then just tie them in here. So one, two loose wraps, just wrap them around a bit and tighten it up. Pretty easy. Then we take few feathers here of uh, the Super Gris, also from Big Streamers of course. Take two, match the size and tie them in like that. One, second one. tight it down. Looks good. Then we take a little bit more bucktail, just from the middle section now. As further down we go, as hollower fibers, and then they stand more up if we put pressure on them. And uh, this time though we uh, tie it in reverse. We spin the thread counterclockwise. So when we go around it, it's laying backwards to our fingers and we can pull it down the finger. Oh. So, start again. Uh, sorry for that. So, we tie this in reverse and then just fold it back. You can do it with the pen tool or just with the fingers as you feel. Just push it in a bit, get it tight. Thread out and move the bobbin really in a circle around the hook then you get really nice cones in front of the bucktail so we're not tying on top of the bucktail just in front of to uh, secure it and let it stand up in a 45 degree angle depends on which shape you want but 45 is nice like that then we use some pearl flesh I think this is Lavender color, something like that. I don't know it really. Just uh, liked it for that fly with the uh, light blue monster duck. Worked quite nice. So we take a few strands, maybe six to eight, not much. Just taper them a bit, put them in 70 30, tie them on top, spread them with the thumb, tie them down, flip them over, spread them with the thumb again and then just tie them down red then another section of bucktail from the middle remove the under fur as always and we tie it in reverse again spin the bobbin go two loose wraps split it around the hook and tie it down with pressure. A thread I'm using a Vivas 140 I think. Oh no, no, it's the GSP, Vivas GSP. You can put a lot of pressure on it. Good, good uh, thread for pike flies. So now we fold that back again. Move the thread out in straight direction so we are not catching any fibers. And then just building up our cone again in front of the bucktail to secure the position that we want to have. So this fly is giving us a nice shape and on the water this is all folding down and pulsing on the water so it's a lot of action and um, then we can push a little bit more water. The last bucktail we tie in a little bit different and then we lay the dobbing just for a nice head on top of it. So like that, that's fine. And then we take some dubbing from really from the lowest bit of the bucktail. The fibers are really hollow and they therefore they stand up quite good if you tie them down. So we take a good bunch of it, maybe pencil thickness. 
and then we tie it in maybe oh, let's say 60 40 something like that so you spin the bobbin again a bit you tie it in like that two loose wraps and then you can just pull it down and tighten it up and because this fibers here in the front they are really thick they and if we tie them in reverse now we get a little kind of a strong head shape which is pushing a lot of water and it's giving us a lot of action you can see that here so we move our thread out again and then we lay a cone in front of it again just quickly like that and you see that that's a really strong hair and that's pushing a lot of water and the pikes like that and you can leave the fly like that if you would have tied that up from here and then you would push that down and cut this a bit in shape but we don't need that because we want to use the monster dog and lay it in front so we just get a few good straps out of it align the fibers and just lay it on top and just a few gentle loose wraps so it's going around the hook and we do the same thing on the underside we can use a little bit more it doesn't matter it's quite a lot of material in the pack something three gram so you can tie a lot of flies with it and it's not really expensive as soon as it's in the shop we'll launch it probably within the next weeks. Oh yeah, that's the trick. Just tie it down. Just give it a little half hitch knot. That's always fine for me. I'm not doing any other knots because I secured them by getting a little bit of super glue. Put this on the thread. Now I have a lot of super glue on the thread and then we just move the thread around in the super glue and this is super super durable, we'll never get loose, never had a fly getting loose like that. And that's nearly it, so we just palm that back. Really really handy tool here, this is an animal brush, cat brush or a dog brush. You can get it in the pet store or anywhere on the internet for maybe a euro. Euro 37 I think I paid for this one. So it's definitely a must have tool. Because you can get this dubbing heads really really nicely shaped with it. So, and this is finished like that. Then we take our E6000. That's the best glue working with this dubbing. And this is the Z -Gil. has a bit of problems getting stick to it. Well, with the uh, E6000, there's no problem at all, it's just super super tight. So just get a little bit of glue on it. And then we grab some random eyes. Here I got 12 millimeter, some yellow eyes. Just put them on top. Apply some pressure as we want it. And then we get our eye tool, really nice and handy tool, and just flip it around. And if you want to see how the finished fly looks like, I have already one tied here. So that's the fly. And we have a really bulky hat which is pushing a lot of water. And we got this really nice blue color. It's really blending well with the bucktail in front, so we get a really nice shaped head. I mean, the fish won't care, but uh, you know, the flies catching the fisherman, and um, I really love it. Maybe kind of a hearing imitation, which will really work well for pikes and, and the sea around Sweden and stuff like that. Or in the Lugan, you never know. But yeah, that's the uh, monster dub bucktail fly.